Gifts make everything better. Fact. I add gifts to almost all my videos, so I thought there must be an easier way than I'm doing it of going through, searching, and then finding the gifts, downloading them, and importing them into your project. There must be a plugin or something that I can use to make this process easier for myself. So I did a little play around, little search, did a little time myself. Took me about three minutes to open up my browser, go around, search for the GIF I wanted, and then import it into my project after I downloaded it and all that stuff. And I thought, let's make a change. We don't want that anymore. So what I'm thinking is, you open up Premiere Pro, you go into your extensions, you have a little extension for GIFs, just GIF import or whatever it's called. And then on the side there, you have a little search. You can search for all the GIFs, it'll show you all the relevant GIFs, then you just press on the GIF and it imports into your project. Doesn't sound too bad. So uh, let's build it. I was thinking there's a couple of things we're gonna need for this MVP. We're gonna need GIF search, so to be able to search through the different types of GIFs and the different term that you want for whatever GIF you want. We want a one-click import, so you press on the GIF and it imports straight into your project, downloads, imports, all that stuff. Last of but not least, we want it to work across platforms. So I want it to work on Mac, which I'm on. I also got a Windows laptop computer, whatever that I edit my videos on too so I needed to work on both. So I started where anyone in my position would start. I googled how to make a Premiere Pro extension. What I found was the extensions were called CEP extensions and they basically run off the scripting built into Premiere Pro. Luckily for me the extensions are built on languages that I already know. They're basically a web panel so it's HTML, CSS and JavaScript so I was happy about that. I read through all of the extension documentation, had no idea what half of it meant so then I carried on to see how, where we could get our GIFs from. So after a bit of digging around for GIF libraries and APIs I stumbled upon the Giphy API. I say stumbled upon it's like the biggest one so they have a nice SDK which is written in React. I'm familiar with JavaScript, it's one of my more, more well-known languages. There we go. So their React SDK wrapped nicely in with what I was trying to do. So once I decided on the library I was going to use, Giphy, and I had a little look through the documentation on the plugins, then we cracked on and started building. Working with the React APK from Giphy saved me so much time I don't even know, not having to implement the API doing fetches and sorting the data myself. All the elements were already built for me, so just plugging that in was literally a lifesaver. First things first, I got the GIFs rendering out to the screen. I used a mosaic so all the GIFs will show up as many on the page as I possibly can get, so people have a lot of options and flexibility when they are searching or looking for their GIFs. Once all the GIFs were rendering and I got the infinite scroll, so they just kept refreshing as you went down, then I implemented the search feature as well. This is just a simple text form at the top of the page, which is hot reloaded as you type. So as you type along, more suggestions come up and the GIFs refresh themselves. Last but not least, we've got the type. So the type of GIF, first of all, you've got the original, which is the one with the background. You've got a sticker, which doesn't have a background. Then you've got the text GIF, which is kind of different text effects that you can pick from. You also have emojis, but they're not searchable. And then you have video, which is yet to be implemented, but I want to really implement that because those are the ones which I usually use the most. And they come with the sound. They're basically MP4 files. The best. Yeah, you're right. So all was going well with the Giphy SDK. I got that implemented pretty easily and it doesn't look great but it's very functional and it works just fine. So then I had to move on to actually importing the files using the Premiere Pro scripts. I could not get my head around it to save my life and I still don't really understand it but I got a working diagram here of what you have to do. So we start with a HTML button which will be our GIF, you press on the GIF. That then does a JavaScript function in the back end JavaScript for the web site. That function then calls the scripts that Adobe provides. Then the scripts that Adobe provides then calls your script that you wrote in Premiere Pro script JSX. I don't, yeah, it was way over my head, still kind of is, but we got it working. So luckily I only did to import, or well, make one function, which is to import videos. I will not be looking to do any more of that anytime soon. So after the small metal breakdown I had importing the scripts, then we went on to the last step the cross-platform, getting it to work on my Mac and my Windows PC at the same time, together, whatever you want to say. I developed in Mac OS, but getting it to work in Windows wasn't as hard as I thought it might have been. It was simply a case of making sure that the paths to the files and folders that I was using were relative and that I could change them between 
operating systems. So I'd have to do a check to see what operating system I was on, which was luckily provided by Premiere Pro. And then from that, I would use an if statement to do to replace the forward slashes for backslashes like they use Mac OS and Windows and vice versa, which everyone has forward slash backslash, whatever I need to use would be implemented then. And it was done in theory, it's still not done. Uh, there was a lot of bugs, a lot of niggly things. I won't go through all of them, but thank God for source control. GitHub saved my life. One interesting thing I will add though, one of the bugs that I came across was the naming of the text. I was using the names that Giphy provides to save the GIFs to file. So if a GIF had the same name as another one, for instance, all of the text GIFs have the same name because it goes off the name that you provide and then it changes that to some interesting effects. So trying to import text one over text one would just rewrite the whole file and then you'd only have one text GIF, which is very annoying. So after I worked out what was going on, I put a little ditty while loop in, which literally just cycled over all the names until it got to an increment that was free and then saved that name then to file. So what can it do? What are the current features? So you can search, like we mentioned, you can search for any term and then it will bring up a mosaic of related GIFs. You can select from different types. So you have the original, the sticker and the text. Hopefully video will be coming soon. Importing, so then you press on that GIF that you've selected and it will import straight into your project, which is lovely. And then of course it works cross platform like we have covered. The release, when will it be released? Hopefully by the end of the week, fingers crossed if the Adobe's gods bless me with approval. As you can see, oh, most of all the bugs are squashed by now, all the features are in, the MVP features anyway, to get this rolling and out to you guys. I will be posting a video when it was released, when it's live, so make sure you stick around, hit subscribe so you get notified when that video comes out. In the comments below, let me know your thoughts on the extension. If you have any extensions that you're thinking about making or you want made, let me know it down in the comments and maybe we'll uh, give it a go. Have a good day.